This video is going to be about two practice problems where we take the tools of combinations, that is counting the number of elements and sets, and we're going to apply it to five card poker probability problems. So the first example is what's the probability of a pair in five card poker where a pair is two cards with the same face and then three separately different cards. So our five cards consist of two cards with the same face and then three all different cards. So remember what we're trying to do in the world of probability is calculate the probability of sets. And that in this, uh, in these simple examples so far are going to be the cardinality of A over the cardinality of S. So in this example, the sample space is all five card poker hands. And A is the more interesting um, set, a pair in five card poker hands. So we can calculate the cardinality of S fairly easily. There's 52 total cards, and we want to know the number of ways we can get five of them. Calculating the cardinality of A is a little bit more tricky, and that's what we're going to spend this time doing. So in order to get two cards with the same face, you got to first realize there's 13 um, different faces in a standard deck. So of the 13 different faces, we want to specify one of them. That is, you could specify an ace, you could specify a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. There are 13 different cards you could specify. From that specified face, there are four cards available, and we want two of the four available. Now that's only two of our five cards, so then we need to say, well, there's 12 other faces, and we want to specify three of those. And each of those three faces that we have specified has four cards, and we want one of each of the four, and we're going to repeat that three times. So it turns out this is the cardinality of A, where A is the set, a pair, in five card poker hands. This is the number of ways you can get a pair in five card poker hands. Now, if we calculate this fraction, we can calculate the probability of a pair. And so I'm just going to turn to R to do that next. So in R, we can represent that combination operation as choose. And so we'll start with 13 choose 1 times choose 4, 2 times choose 12, 3 times choose 4, 1. But this last one is going to be raised to the power of 3. Now I'm going to abuse my syntax from earlier and just call that integer a, even though what I mean is the cardinality of a. And I can very easily calculate the number of five card hands. And so to get the probability is just to divide those two integers. There is a 42% chance of getting a pair in five card poker. So that was our first example. I think the trickiest part is recognizing that you first need to specify the face of the pair that you're going to get. And then once you specify the face, then there's four of those faces available, and you want two of them. There's three other cards you need to pick. Since you already have one face specified here, there's 12 remaining faces to specify. You want to choose three of those. Of each of those faces, there's four cards available, and you want one of each. And you're going to do that three times. Okay, let's try a slightly more complicated example where we're going to do a similar sort of thing. We are interested in calculating the cardinality of A, where A here is the set of five card hands with two pairs. So that is two cards with the same face, two more cards, typo there, two more cards with the same face, and another card. 
Okay, so we've got to be careful here because there's 13 available faces and we want to specify two of them. Okay, now each of those two faces has four available cards and we want two of each of those and we'll do that twice. Now that's just four cards, two, twice. So we further have need 11, we further have 11 available faces remaining and we wanna specify one of them. And from that uh, face, there's four available cards and we want one of those four. So we can do a similar thing um, and put this into R to calculate the probability of two pairs in five card poker. Now the denominator is gonna stay the same. So the only thing that's gonna to need to change in this probability calculation is the numerator. So if we jump into R, we'll go choose 13, two times choose four, two to the power of two times choose 11, one times choose four, one. And we'll divide that by S. Oh, this is a much different hand in the game of poker. There's a pretty good chance that you'll get one pair in poker, a 42% chance, but to get two pairs in poker drops you down to a 4% chance. It is a 4% chance to get two pair in the game of five card poker. Hopefully this was a reasonable introduction to some practice problems in the world of combination and how it relates to probability, which comes from the uniform distribution.